Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here with me for this cook with me. It's gonna be a little different. Uh, it's gonna be a chatty cook with me and I'm gonna be sharing a piece of my heart with you. So we are going to make a meatloaf. I've shared this video with you years ago and I've shared it every time I do my tried and true freezer meal recipes. It's so good, it's a Paula Deen recipe and it's delicious. I'll have a dedicated video for you down below so you can go on there and, and check it out and get the ingredients and everything. It is seriously so good. It's not your typical dry, just meatloaf, it's not at all. It's so flavorful and my family gobbles it up at any time except for my sister-in-law, because she just can't do meatloaf, period. But anytime someone says, I don't like meatloaf, I give them this recipe and they eat it, they love it. So, hey, if you're not a meatloaf lover, give this one a try and see what you think. So I'm gonna share with you me cooking this recipe as I, I chat with you. So I'm probably gonna lose my thought a lot on this video because my brain is seriously mush. I am, I feel like mush right now just because there's so much going on. And we all have things that we are going through in our life. We're all going through something. There's something that we have to walk through that's really murky and muddy. But but you know when you get through it, there, there's, there's gonna be butterflies and cupcakes and chocolate and all the fun stuff. But it's hard to walk through the muck. So we're like, ooh, this is a doozy. Okay. <laughs> all right, how are we gonna do this? I am so thankful for Derek because he's been such an anchor for me, and I know I have been for him. If you've ever gone along in a situation where your loved ones are, they're they're feeling low and they're they're down here and they they just need their moment to mourn a little or grieve or whatever it is that they're going through, and you're the one that that's being positive and and lifting and and getting everybody up. And then when everyone's up here feeling good, and it's like, oh, it's your turn to to grieve and cry and mourn and, and do whatever it is that you need to do in the situation. I've been strong, I've been strong, and now it's my turn to feel I wouldn't allow myself to feel what we were going through and, and not let it touch me. I was like, nope, we're gonna keep plowing through and we're gonna get through this. But sometimes we need to feel the, the hard that we're going through and release and cry. And so, since we got back from our Disney trip, I feel like I got hit by a bus. And I was talking with some friends, and my therapist did tell me this a while back, that I'm, it's, what I'm going through is like a grief, and I have to mourn. And I'm like, wow, I know, really? Oh, okay, you know, I didn't think of it that way. And so, it's okay to be angry, and it's okay, and then let that pass, and it's okay to be sad and let that pass and it's okay to feel like you're in denial and then that passes you know you go through all the grieving stages it's Sunday and I have to say the weekend has been really hard I have allowed myself to feel the dark and feel scared and to feel worried and and I know that doesn't help but I had to go through it I had to I had I, I guess I had to go through it well the other day I had a good friend come over and we had brunch and she's actually walking the same rough mucky road that we're walking through right now which is bizarre and but I'm sad that she has to walk through it but I am so thankful for her because she she has just been giving me such great words of encouragement and wisdom and it really opened my eyes this weekend I really, it really did make me think of um, how I'm not alone, and I, I was, I hit the phase of scared, being scared because um, whatever you're going through, you hit a, a wall where you're scared. You don't know how you're gonna get through this. How is this and this gonna happen or, or come to us? And how, you know, how, 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 how. That is a hard thing to bear on your shoulders and carry with you throughout the day when you have so many other responsibilities. If you work outside the home, if you own a business, if you're the boss, um, if you're a mom and you don't want your worries to show, um, and all of that. And she really had me think back and look where Heavenly Father's hand has been in it. But we are so involved in the situation that you can't, sometimes you don't see it. But I really ha sat back that morning with her and saw Heavenly Father's hand 
and what we're going through and gratitude came over me and I thought wow maybe I shouldn't worry about the how and just keep making progress every day and he will move mountains because he has already he totally has so I'm gonna try to have faith and not worry about the how but do what I can so this weekend was a rough one for me Derek was so awesome on Valentine's Day showing his love to the kids and to me and it meant so much and then I got a phone call on Valentine's Day Friday that was the worst day of the weekend that just was an answer to prayers. I needed that phone call. I felt like a prayer was answered on Friday and that I was able to put clothes on at the end of the day and I, I perked up because I truly saw Heavenly Father right there, right there. So yesterday was the first day in a few days that I put on makeup, that I did my hair. Derek and I went out, we went to Ikea this, and we decided to get going on a project together and not think about how, the hows of our situation. And this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, let's go to church and we'll come home and I will feed my family. You know, I don't have control over everything. We don't have control over everything and we can't change everything immediately. But what I do have control over is feeding my family. I could feed my family. I can make another meal and put it in the freezer. I can control the things that I can control and I will do them with all my heart, with the energy that I have and not worry about how, 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 because all that's doing is eating me up and what I could do is give and be thankful and give and be thankful. And that's what I'm focusing on this week in my home, is giving to my family and not stressing like, I gotta get a video out because I post on Sundays and Thursdays. It's okay if there's not a video. It's okay. The number one people, the number one priority is my family. And so I had to let that go. And then um, after church, you know, I spent some time with the family and then I was like, I'm getting in the kitchen because I can, I have control over this. I can make meals for my family so we could sit down together and eat together and feel their love. That is what I have control over. And yeah, just these little lessons that I've been learning this week. I do have a fun girls weekend coming up and another weekend, a girls weekend, the weekend after that. I did not plan for that, it's just how it fell. And Derek is an amazing man who is saying, go, I got this, go. And I am so thankful for him. And I know not all of you get to have a girls weekend or are able to get away, but I hope that there is a moment in the, each day that you could take for you because you deserve it. All right, I don't wanna make this all completely mushy, but this is just where I have been. There's a lot on my heart, and I know I'm not alone, and I know Heavenly Father's with us, because there have been miracles. We focus so much on the dark that we turn our back to the light, when there is so much there to be thankful for, and if we just embrace it, it brings comfort, it, it, it brightens our soul, and that's what I wanna focus on. I'm not going to focus on the how. I'm going to focus on what I can do. So thank you so much for joining me. I really love and appreciate you guys. And we're good. We're okay. <laughs> I just, I know people's minds start twirling. It's just going to, it's a little murky for just a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. We're walking through the murk together as a family. And we, 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 we see the light. It's, we see the ending down there. I just got to be patient and just let things work out. And I know we're not alone as we walk through the murk, but that's okay. We're going to be running through the sand and oh, pretty soon it's going to be great. Anyway, anywho, but I know I don't sound crazy because I know a lot of you go through this. We all go through this. Everyone goes through something, right? We all go through it. 
and we're all there to help one another and help one another and and that's where and that's love and that's friendship so thank you so much for joining me and we will see you thursday with a freezer meal video we're gonna do some freezer meal kits it's gonna be great so join me thursday all right we'll see you soon bye you can't turn the tide let the water go where it wants Hey, you'll be alright